User authentication is a process of verifying the identity of a user attempting to access an application to ensure that only authorized individuals or individual is granted access to the application. The primary goal of user authentication is to confirm the user's claimed identity and ensure that they are who they say they really are. So the authentication process typically follows these steps. User initiates access. This is where the user requests access to an application. Then there is the presentation of credentials, where the user provides the necessary authentication credentials such as a username and password or a fingerprint scan. Next, we have the credential verification. This is where the system compares the provided credentials against the stored or pre-registered information associated with the user's identity. Then we have the authentication decision. Based on the comparison results, the system determines whether the user's identity is confirmed and whether access should be granted or denied. And lastly, we have access granted or denied. The user is either allowed access to the application if authentication is successful or denied access if authentication fails. So there, there are several ways of uh, implementing user authentication in mobile apps. So we have traditional username and password authentication. This is the most common method of user authentication that involves using a combination of username, which could be also an email, and password. Next, we have the passwordless authentication. So passwordless authentication just eliminates the need for traditional passwords and provides a unique user experience where we authenticate using an email address by sending a link to that email address. And to learn more, visit the link in the description box below. Next, we have two-factor authentication or 2FA. This is where an extra layer of security is added, that's the word two-factor. In addition to the traditional username and password, users are required to provide a second factor, typically something they possess, such as a unique code that's generated by a mobile app or received via SMS. There are some key considerations for implementing two-factor authentication, which include SMS verification, um, where it integra integrates SMS APIs to deliver verification codes to users' registered mobile numbers securely. And also we have the, o the famous OTP um, that can be sent to the specific phone number. Next thing we have the social media authentication. So this is where we allow users to authenticate using their social media accounts and it over offers a lot of convenience and simplifies the registration process. The integration with these platforms are like Facebook, Google or Twitter. It enables users to log in with their existing credentials. So uh, this type of authentication uses OAuth 2.0 and Open ID Connect protocols to facilitate secure authentication and authorization with these popular social media platforms. To learn more about OAuth, visit the link in the description box below. Lastly, we have biometric authentication. This is where we leverage on the device's biometric capabilities, such as fingerprint or facial recognition, and it's considered as a good second factor for authentication. So in our series, we look at integrating these authentication methods step by step in Flutter. And let's take a break from here and I'll see you on the first lesson where we'll be looking at Google sign-in authentication with Flutter.